Hi everyone, time for another jewelry haul. Um, yeah, <laughs> you won't believe this. I just did a video and it, even though my phone was horizontal, it did it vertical. So guess what? I have to do it over again and you know how I hate doing them over. So, alright. Got some turquoise and sterling. I'm not even sure if that's real turquoise or not. It doesn't look like it. It almost looks like Larimar, but I'll have to see. Okay. Then I got these earrings. And I just did a thing on how I, you can't really tell the difference, but how I cleaned them. And you're not going to see it. Okay, let me show you. Uh, let me get my thing wet. I'll do it on the turquoise earrings. Okay, you know, Mr. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. All right, so you see these? <clears throat> They're very dirty, right? I did this trick the other day because I was at the sink cleaning and this was beside it. Because usually I, I wash them first before I polish, you know, I me mean with the polishing rag. I'm getting everything all messy, but the Mr. Clean Eraser will clean it quick. I like to give you a quick polish. I don't know if you can really see. It's hard to see with this, but see how this one's all brown? No, I'll do it right before your eyes. How if I hold it like this? Sorry if I'm making people dizzy. I apologize. You can tell it's taking dirt off. And I'll still use the polishing cloth. But see? It cleaned it. Look what I did to the thing. But Same thing with the front. So, try it, see if it works for you. If it does, it takes a lot of time off of cleaning the silver. All right, um, I don't know because I threw all my papers out of what I paid for everything, so I'm not gonna say what I paid for everything, I guess. <laughs> all right, this one is, um, what is it? Mahogany Obsidian. It's a pendant, a big chunky pendant, sterling silver, and then matching earrings. Right, I'm gonna put that in the bag. I'm gonna put this back in the bag. Yeah, so I was like, oh my goodness. I was all done the video and I'm like ready to upload it. So I'm gonna go through it fast. This was another one I had showed um, the difference. All right, so this one I get three. See the difference? I did it with the um, magic eraser on this one as well. See the difference? And I'll show you again. So that one's the good one. This one's the dirty one. Like I said, I'll still use the polishing cloth for, you know, but look how shiny. See, you can see all the dirt it gets off. And I do have the ones that are like the sheet size of these, so. Yeah, so that's what I was showing in the other video. That's why my hands are getting worse and worse with each video I do. So I got that. Oh, I haven't polished any of this stuff up. I have so much stuff. These are little coyotes. And then this one. Oops. Come on. Let me take it out of the. He's stuck. Okay. It's a little articulating penguin. See him? His arms. And even with the chain, let me just show you what. This is getting all gross. But even with the chain, I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to go like this with the chain. Look. Just like a polishing cloth. Exactly like a polishing cloth. See it? 
So, yeah, that trick works. Okay. Let's see. And now I have all this. Let me move all this. Just going to throw it on my counter and I'll clean it after. I don't like buying single things from Shop the World because you end up getting screwed on shipping. This is a sterling silver ring, just with enamel, but it's cute east-west design. Really cute, but I end up paying up for it because of the shipping. Like, I get a good deal on the actual item, and then you, when you start adding shipping, you know, the, the deal. Everybody that buys from there. Okay, this one I bought. It's um, Ruby Zoilite, I think, Zoe, something like that. I can't even, but I like it because I had a, I have a, I still have it, a chippy necklace, like, of all chips with it, and it has, like, this color and green. It's so pretty together, and this is a really nice, sturdy piece of silver, not flimsy at all, so I thought that one was adorable. Rainbow Casilica. A sterling silver bracelet and these are like lava rocks and sterling silver I'll see if I still had the uh, I had the papers full of what I paid for everything can't find them now because I was putting everything away and then I you know, was uploading I was so upset <laughs> not upset but I just like ugh. I have a lot to go through. Um, okay. This one, this one I paid up for. I pay, oh, this one I still have because I hadn't done this. I'm gonna just do it on this one. I bought ten rings, sterling silver. I paid sixty six dollars, and then with shipping it was seventy seven thirteen. I don't know what's the best way to show these, and I apologize because you just saw me clean the with this thing. This is sterling silver ring. Small size, a size 5. And I haven't checked any of these to see if they're real silver. They said they were. That's like a size 5. I do like that one. It has the blue um, let's see, aquamarine, and then this one was a cute one, it's like a cigar band, it's a size 7, that's my size. But sometimes cigar bands, no, I guess it's alright, but it's a little bit snug, but it is really hot here, oh my gosh, yeah. When they're wider, it's, you know, sometimes you need it to size up, it's tight, see, right here, because I'm bloated, well, first of all, I'm bloated, and fat and whatever else um but it's hot all right so this one's like almost a little under a seven i'm gonna show it on my hand like i said my hands are gonna be gross you can't help it when you're doing jewelry this is like a cat's eye tiger's eye and this one let me just see I think they're all smaller sizes, yeah. I would say it's like a six and a quarter. I like this one. Very cute, but they're all small, like I said. Oh, no, that one's almost a seven. Whoops. It's easy's in them. I don't know what stone that is. Kind of cute though, huh? But they're all tiny, very tiny. That one's a size five. This one <laughs> has seen better days. Look at that. Let's see. It's a size, almost a size. It's an eight and a half. But if you put it, if you have a big enough finger, you kind of. And this is plastic. If you had a mandrel that was. Or something that you could unbend that. But anyway, and same thing with this one. This one's a little bent. And this one is that little leaf. 
So, yeah, I got those. Let's see what this is. And then I'll show you a few things that I have so much junk. And there's going to be some things that I got that I... I don't even know where it is now. This I paid like $42 for. And this is Lacosite and Onyx. It says... Uh, I, you know how I love bracelets. Yeah, I'm a sucker for a bracelet. And I like this one with the little heart at the end. It's just a plain one, but that's adorable. So that's why I got these. I like the bracelets. This one is just a necklace. These are all um, sterling. Like I said, I have to check this one. Uh, those are dirty, but it's a okay. Let me just see. It's like a size 9. But it's just a weird... Um, design. Another is a Marcosite and Onyx bracelet. A heart ring. And I don't know, it's kind of like a dome shaped, right? That one's tiny. Let's see, that's like a, you know, size 6. It looks really small. Didn't it look really small? And then, what else? Oh, just some handmade beaded earrings. Some more, but these little dangle a little. And these tiny moon moccasites. So that was that lot. Like I said, I was organized in the other video. See what happens? <laughs> I am the worst. I am the worst. Right. But I'm not doing this again. I'm just showing you a few things, and I'll show you a few other things that I have. And that will be it. I gotta stay on top of it. When I get them in, I should just do a quick video, but I don't. And then some of these have been small, so. I don't know what I paid for this. I have another one that I can't find the items. I don't know what I did with it. I spent like $60 and I don't know what I did with them. So this one is a silver bow necklace. I think I paid like 40 something dollars for this one, I believe. Moccasite cross necklace, sterling silver. This one, um, it says CTR and that has to do with Mormon church. So I don't know. And this one, I like the hammered ring in the little nest. And I bought it because of this. And they did, and Shop Good World usually doesn't, but they did say there was a flaw, which is good. And they told me what exactly what, what it was. It's missing one moccasite. Um, but I bought earrings from another one that I can probably transplant it into there. This one little moccasite. I gotta see if it fits. But isn't that a beautiful brooch? So, yep. The silver is going up. Let's see. So that's that. I'll show that. Show that one. I'll show all those. Yeah, I can't find this one. I hope got a whole bunch of sterling necklaces and I don't know if I took it out and Instead of listing, I'm not sure. This was part of, I think part of that. I think this was part of the one I'm saying I'm missing. Oops. These are sterling rings. This is kind of a weird. I guess you'd probably put a stone on top of that, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. And it looks a little off-centered. Like, if you put it on, it's a little crooked, but whatever. And there's this ring. I like this one. It has the moonstones in it. Beautiful. And then this one. Oh, I think this one is a name. 
I think this is Bars, right? I'm not saying asking you. I'm just talking. About, yeah, Bars. So this is a Bars ring. I don't know what I... Oh, this one, I paid $64 for the whole lot. And I'm not sure if this ring is in that one or not. I mean, they do show a picture, but I can't see the ring. So if not, anyway, this is a Bars ring. I bought it at some point. God only knows when. And these are just some charms. I think that was part of that. Oh, there's some earrings. Some shell. And a cross. And then, because it's, these are 925, they put them in. But those will just go into my um, scrap lot. And I have a bag of that. I, one of these days I'll have to list it or do whatever, get rid of it. Um, the broken stuff and stuff I'm not going to use. This was from another lot that I had bought, and this is just, I think it was a mishmash of stuff, to be honest with you. Oops. I'm getting stuck on the little cotton swab inside here. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is just silver tone ring, but it's still cool. I don't know what plastic but still neat right I bought this one for this because you know how I like bracelets and I believe this is silver I think that is silver I could be wrong but even if it isn't is or isn't it has to be cleaned I haven't done anything with it um oh it is marked 925 I haven't tested it but I love that I think that's adorable Right, once I clean it. And then there's these earrings in there. <clears throat> some more little earrings. I got some amber earrings. Oops. I know a lot of people like amber. Oh, this is not my favorite, to be honest with you. Earring, little studs. I know when you when you have something in the background, it always tries to focus. These are just miscellaneous earrings. I do like these. See, like I like these better than I would the amber ones, which is hilarious, right? I love the faceted beads, and I don't care what you say. I mean, lighting is everything. Put on a faceted bead like this. Whether it's a necklace, bracelet, earrings, wear it for a day. Wear it when it's like, mm, like nighttime, dusk type of thing. And you tell me if people don't say to you like, "Oh, I love your jewelry." It it stands out. I think this is silver stuff. I think some of this is silver because look at these. Those are delicate. A little bit too delicate for me. I, I like delicate, but that's a little bit too much. This is a ring. I think it's Vermeil. <laughs> Look at that little, little tiny little. Yeah, that's too too small for me too. Some people can wear big ju statement jewelry and look really good. I know I say this every time, but oh, I just noticed this is missing. Look, it's missing one. See it? Well, that's too bad. And this is just a neck. Oh, it's cat. I thought that was the closure. It's like cat ears. I thought that was the one of these. I'm like, wow, that's a big ring. Okay. So I have that. I have that. Oh, I did buy, like I said, there'll probably be another video. I do have a few more things coming in. Some necklaces. I did buy these. <coughs> Excuse me. On online, Autumn Grace has a an auction, and I bought these silver. And I don't know what these are. I want to say I always want to say carnelian. I don't know, but these are adorable earrings. And then um, she gave me these two anklets with cat's eye. Or did I buy them? I'm not even sure. Maybe I bought them. I can't remember. Either she gave them to me or I bought them. I can't, 
<laughs> I like them. So I, I could, I could have bought them. I could have, and I believe it's from Autumn Grace. I know I got these from Autumn Grace. So, like I said, once it goes into a pile, it's. You guys know all you jewelry people, right? You go into a pile, you're like, I don't know who I got what from. Um, I have gotten a few others. This I got at a Savers. Bouquet of flowers, sterling silver, it's a brooch or a pendant. Um, this one I bought on Shop Good, these two I bought on Shop Goodwill. This one I paid, I bought a loan. I don't like to buy things alone anymore because it costs too much money when you ship it. But um, it's a cyan sterling thing, brooch, it's a thing, yeah. This is both sterling, but look at that, those two cats. And I think I bought that alone as well. And I'm trying not to buy too much stuff on its own. I'm trying to buy in lots because it's just cheaper shipping. Unless they do the dollar, I mean a dollar, the penny shipping, that works out well. Because, you know, I have tax, state tax I have to pay as well. And, you know, the whole... Um, other ones I have gotten in a lot, and it, maybe I put them here, the ones that were in a lot, but or maybe I didn't. I might have already showed this one. I'm not sure because I did do an onyx one. It's a heart necklace. I can't remember because I have a board of all necklaces here. This one I know I didn't show. This might have been part of that one. I like that one. These are all 925. Um, I already did a video on This one just has little rings on it. Let's see. Yeah. This one was little um, freshwater pearls. And this tested silver. I don't think it was mock silver, but it tested silver. I think I tested this one. I can't remember. I'd have to retest it again anyway. But it's not mocked anyway. It looks like a, a piece. But And this one is silver with pearls. Uh, let's see. I think it's silver. Yep, it is. It's marked. Um, what else did I get? I bought some online, and I'm not sure. I think I bought this from somebody's auction. It might have been a jewelry nurse's. I might have. I might not have. I might have bought it from a Roberta, I think. I love it. It's cute. I could have gotten into the thing, but I think that's where I got that one from. But I could be wrong. Don't quote me on it. This one I got in a lot, and it's a Sopata. Um, this doesn't, the top part doesn't have Sopata, but this does. So, and a lot of the Sopatas do come on though. <clears throat> on that. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Then these little circle pendant ones. This one was an 830 silver. Oh, 835 or something like that, which is not 925, but it's European silver or whatever. But it's still, it's cute. Um, I'm trying to put them back on my pegboard here. I'm um, not sure if I that. I don't know if I showed them. Not sure if I showed this in a video. Necklace I bought. If I did, I apologize, because, like I said, I just put them all in the, um, hanging right now. Not all of them, but some of them hanging. This one I bought. I bought this separately, but I bought this because I really liked it. Look at that moonstone. Pink moonstone, and I forget what that was, but I love that piece. Very cute. On a sterling silver. This one I got from Roberta. I know that definitely. So, um, Roberta and um, Cindy Jewelry Nurse, they have auctions on Saturday and Sunday. They do those on Saturday, I believe. 
This is a Labradorite. I got this from Roberta. Very cute. And lastly, I got this one. Isn't that a beautiful necklace? I loved it. Yeah, so right now I have all of them, not all of them, I have a bunch on a board waiting to, well, some of them listing, some of my, some of keeping. Um, oh, I didn't show you this one. This is one of the best ones I have, I think. This one's cute. Look at this cross. With all the stones. So that's cute. Yeah, so I have them all hanging. I gotta get another one of these boards. You know, the felt boards to hang some of these things. Um, because this one, let me just, I don't know if you can see it, but this full is all full. Well, this, is, this is not even, that, um, that's just a, I think it's so cute. It's just a cold water creek, but I, look at little acorn. I grew up, we, we had an oak tree in our yard and had acorns all the time, so that's just nostalgic. Yeah, these I've already had. But, yep, these are all the ones, so. All right, that should be it for now. But I do have some chains coming in, and hopefully I can do the videos as they come in. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Bye, guys.